Hello, YouTube. You thought you got rid of me, didn't you? <laughs> but, nope, I'm back. And I'm here with my new mod pack, Altcraft. I've made this Minecraft mod for 1.6.4. And today, I'm going to be starting my new series. I'm going to be taking you through my mod pack, what it includes, how to do the specific things in it. I'll be doing it in survival mode, so we'll be going through things as the game progresses. Okay, Outcraft Science Masterminds. If you want to download the pack, I'll put a link in the description. You can try it out for yourself, report bugs, you know, suggest improvements, things like that. So without any further ado, let's launch into it. Alright, here we are. Ah, oh, some random Skype thing there before the... Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Okay, the first thing we'll want to do in the world of science is to get some wood. I've got a brand new computer, so that's why I'm starting up my recording again, because my old one was just... Well, it wasn't really that good, you know, the frame rate on the videos was a little bit lousy and the quality wasn't too great either. And I also had to record my voice separately because, well, I had no recording device on the laptop, which is where I recorded my voice from. But I actually did the videos on the other computer because my laptop couldn't really handle the Fraps recording software, which is a shame, but uh, that's the way it is. Okay, so I've got what seven, six of each type, an orc sapling. Ah, oh, yeah, um, these little tabs here. This is the Tinker's Construct mod. It allows me to, uh, for example, get a backpack or a, a knapsack. Uh, just um, carry more items. This uh, this little heart thing in the little rectangular box is a heart canister, and I can get some of those to increase my heart count. You know, it gives me better chance in fighting the evil undead, things like that. And this one is Galacticraft, but. Uh, Got all my space oxygen things there ready to head up to the moon. Should be interesting when we do that. Also, I have a camping inventory. Got the uh, the camping guide up here with all the, all the stuff. I'm not going to go through it all. Like if you want to look through that yourselves, you can. Um, this is, I believe, the backpack inventory, but I need a backpack to actually access it. Otherwise, if I, if I try to put things in there, it, it doesn't work. And this is my tools. So that's like the crafting table. And in here, I can put a lantern and a couple of other things as well. And the lantern's really cool because you can walk about and it generates light around you rather than placing torches everywhere. Speaking of torches, there's some coal down there. I need to uh I need to go and grab that. Um also you might be able to see in the distance that huge tree. It, it's uh, part of the natura mod or nature mod, however you wanna pronounce it. And that adds a whole bunch of new plants, animals and things. Let me just check my volume real quick. Okay, volume, that's fine. I'm not quite sure why it's gone quiet. Maybe that's something to do with audacity. But it doesn't matter. I can just increase my sound a bit. A little bit more. 
Yeah, that'll do. I also have my own custom music in this as well. Um, I've got menu music. Unfortunately, I haven't actually put that in yet. Um, what I'll need to do is maybe get this onto something like the Technic Launcher, where Hexit, for example, has that music playing just before you load it up. I'll uh, I'll actually put it on the video so you can listen to it. So it's a pretty cool piece of music. Um, okay, where have I wandered into now? I said I was going to get that call, didn't I? Where is it? It's back. It's back this way, I think. Excuse me, animals. Uh, is it down there? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, I see it over there. Okay. So. Wood. Crafting table. Get the basics. Uh, actually, I could make a crafting station. Um, the difference is with a crafting station, it keeps items loaded. So, if you wanted to make something like, say, a chest, but you didn't have all the materials, you come out of it and go get some more wood and come back and uh, it would still be here. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Why did I make a chest? <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Well at least I've got something to put my items in now. Now once I get a nice old place going, what I really need is a wooden pickaxe. Oh, that book, um, you spawn with that, that's part of the Tinker's Construct mod as well. Just lets you know about all the recipes and uh, things. And you can also transform it into other books by putting it in there. Oh, it's a daisy. Did I just get shot? Where did the book go? I don't see I lost it. And I think, oh no, it's still in the, it's still in here. There, there it is. Skeleton, you are gonna pay. Interrupting me, how dare you! You may have an enchanted bow, but I have a wooden sword. Ha! <laughs> Take that. And because of the morph mod that's in, I can now transform into a skeleton. I do this. Oh, I've disappeared. Oh, there we are. Huh. Awesome. Okay. I'll transform back into me now. Oh, heck. That's a big fall. I know YouTubers, that's not what she said. Yes, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? See that glowy thing down there? I believe that's Macwash or you can uh, you can use that for the Stargate mod puts in, I think. Stargate mod's pretty cool. Although it's not as advanced as Stargate oh what was it called? There's, I know that there's a big Stargate mod out there, but the one I've got is Stargate Tech. So it's like a light version, and all that allows you to do is go between different dimensions, like the Never, and uh, other ones, well, the other mods have added. It doesn't actually create new dimensions like the other one does. Uh, right, so I need to make a stone pickaxe. Oh, tell you what I need to do before I make stone pickaxe. Make a furnace. And. Wait, actually. I don't need to make charcoal, I've got. I've got coal right there. I don't, I don't need charcoal. Still, I've got a furnace, so. Yeah. I might as well get like a little base set up. Uh. Probably here. I'll need to get a bit more stone so I can make a floor. And uh so that it's not really wet in the house. 
also need a roof, walls, and a door, something to keep the dead out. Uh, what difficulty is it on? Normal, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I think I need stone to break that one. Got a nice few minerals here. Also, I've got smart moving too, so you can climb things like that. Get up there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And of course, you know, Optifine for um for people who don't have the best of computers. You know, if they're having trouble running the pack, then Optifine's in there. If you want to, uh, if you want to get the best FPS. At the moment I've got like about 30, you know, but that's because I'm recording as well. If I wasn't recording I'd probably have about 50 frames. That's pretty decent for um, having 42 mods I think that's in this pack. Anyway, I've got to keep talking too much, I need to get myself a bit so. Also, one of my friends has been doing Minecraft as well. Uh, Jordan is uh, his channel is Toxic Melon. If you want to check that out, he does like um, Minecraft adventure maps and things, and he also does other random games. I've seen him like do Slender: The Arrival and uh, Quop as well. Wait, I need to make torches. Oh, I should really get some food as well. God, forgot everything. I've been talking to you so much about the mods that I've forgotten to get like my basic supplies. <laughs> God dear, it's already night, and I don't have that much stuff. Okay, this could be a problem. There's a lot of evil beasties out there, and I don't. Fancy encountering any of them without any decent weapons or tools. So I've got Ray's minimap too. Um, it's been configured so that it shows the entities even on multiplayer. Um, sometimes though for some reason it will switch itself off. I think that's due to lag issues though, because sometimes if it's trying to render all the entities on the minimap, it'll limit your frames, so it's probably not a good idea to use it if you've got quite a slow computer. Alright, um, what I'll probably have to do is fight some zombies and then get one flush. Either that, or I could just get a farm going. Please. If I get some barley seeds, that would be great. Because barley grows really fast, and it's much more... Oh god, what's that? It's much more efficient than wheat. <laughs> Baby zombie. Oh, get away. I don't like these things. They run so fast, and they are so difficult to hit. God. I hate those things with passion. <laughs> There's no telling how much I hate baby zombies. I mean, normal zombies, they're bad enough, but baby ones are just evil. It's like they're angry because they're small, and oh, God. there's another one. Okay. Nobody likes you. You know you were adopted, so stop picking on other people. Oh, wait, I could get some venison. Hello, do you mind if I put you open a little bit? If this won't hurt a bit. Actually, I lied, it, it will hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, some more venison. Give me, give me, give me, give me venison. Give me now, give me now. Cow tipper? This isn't a cow. It's a deer. You blind? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What the? What? What just happened? Okay, that was weird. I guess I got like a lag spike or something just then. Oh, wait, what's the house? That's so weird. Ooh, I almost got a house myself there. Uh, how long have I been recording now? About six or seven minutes. Should I have plenty of time left? We're all venison. Mm. This is gonna be delicious. Cotton seeds. A great source of string and wool. Also, NEI as well, mod. Helpful for finding out recipes for things. Cotton seed back. Oh, of course. I was wondering why that was doing that. They're seeds, not the actual cotton itself. <gasps> venison steak. Oh, have you ever had venison? It's lovely. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh. Listen. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. Oh, wait, no, F5 there. Okay. Don't wanna. Don't wanna attract his attention. There we go, and we go. Unfortunately, the smart moving mod. It won't really work with multiplayer, like, you can still climb stuff and sprint and do all the functions, the only thing you can't do is crawl in spaces like this, um, because something to do with the server side, it thinks you're trying to go through the block, whereas you're actually low down, so it, it doesn't let you in and it like glitches you into the wall sometimes and you end up dying, which isn't nice. However, if you kill a chicken and you morph into it, you will be able to go under there because the chicken is only one block high. Okay, let's get some seeds planted rather than just Having them hang around in the inventory. I also need to put a few more pieces of cobblestone down. I definitely need a wall and a roof. And a little roof going. And pickaxe too. Stone one preferably. There we go. And then another wooden stone. I know it's not the best, but uh, it'll have to do for now until I get more materials. Uh, okay, a hole. Oh, got my mouse caught a little bit there. Time to farm. Why is it giving me all the standard achievement? Oh, because I reloaded my didn't I? Yeah, forgot about that. Seeds. Okay. Ah! Don't you- oh god. What have I got myself into? Haha, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> oh god, he's in here with me now. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Haha, <laughs> take that. Okay, it's getting day. So I guess I'll, uh, I'll continue my next recording. Um, and I'll finish this one. So I'll just, uh, I'll leave it off here and I'll see you next time.